Hello, so I'm back and I had a blast in Perth. I think I couldn't have asked for an even more amazing trip. Um, again, I would love to talk about how booking this Perth trip and having it was something that wasn't really in our plans. Um, you know, we actually pre long ago we actually booked a November trip that is with my whole extended family, and I was thinking to myself like, oh, would that be taking too many breaks? You know, what's gonna happen to my business? And like, oh, shouldn't we gotta save up for Korea trip? You know, and stuff like that. But you know, then came the idea about. This trip is just meant for the three of us. And, you know, things fell into place. Um, um, there was a little situation earlier on, half of the year, but it actually showed that this trip was meant to be. And once again, having so much fun and abundance on this trip taught us so much about three things. Fear, faith, and most importantly, family. So fear, you know, all of us had fears. My husband was worried, you know, that the previous time when we traveled, it was just the two of us. And are we going to be able to cope with a trio? Oh, that's one. So for me, it was all about him falling sick. Oh, you know, what if the weather is too cold? What if he gets runny nose? What if this? What if the weather? What if the clothes are not thick enough? Blah, blah, blah. And for him, I'm not too sure whether he has any fears. But <laughs> and also, you know, it was like he never had to sleep in anywhere else rather than on his... He, in Singapore, he never slept on the stroller even. Like twice or thrice thus far. And I was worried like, what if he can't sleep on the plane? What if his ear gets blocked and he's, it's so painful? Um, What if he can't sleep in the car seat? What if he can't sleep in the stroller when we are out? So on and so forth. Do we have to rush back to the Airbnb just to, to let him nap? But guess what? Everything just fell into place. Like... My son was sleeping on the car seat, on the stroller, and it was so easy, like less than five minutes. And, you know, all those fears were completely washed out away the moment that we took the airplane. And it was so amazing because we were rewarded with rich experiences, beautiful learning points about farm animals, wild animals, kangaroos jumping and hopping around, wild cows, um, horses, and his most favorite, which is sheep. And, um... I think it was such an, a rich experience, you know, for him to see all the farm come to life, the airport come to life, busy city come to life, even a town, what's a countryside. And these are the things that we really wanted from the very beginning, if not for COVID. So I, we were so glad that the three of us just hopped onto the plane, just leaving the fears at our door. And guess what? We were rewarded with the richest experience that we wouldn't have ever imagined. And I have so much faith through the trip that I knew that somehow, one way or another, we were able to put things together. We will be able to land ourselves safely. We will be able to work things out no matter what. And true enough, times where I'm frustrated, my husband calmed me down. Times where my husband was frustrated, I calmed him down as well. We were supporting each other with so much courage, so much love, so much faith. And once again, that was the reward, the moment that we overcame our fear. So that's when it actually brings me to a beautiful topic next that I, I will be having a, a, a webinar next Wednesday. I haven't launched the details, watch out for my next few posts. But I feel so inspired after the trip and as well as so much love to share about this is what happens when you overcome your fear. Your fear of uncertainty, your fear of unknown your fear of the unpredictable, the fear of the, you know, so many fears that we have. And I get down and I totally understand why, I mean, I have studied it. I have mastered it through experience and practice. And I can safely say that right now I am a mastery of fear. It's not to say that I have, I'm absolutely zero fears for the rest of my life. I'm sure I do. But I do know that I have mastered the fear on how to tackle it. You know, it's not just about um, looking at your fear head on and just bulldozing through. Neither is it about shying away and hiding away because guess what? It will always keep coming back to haunt you. And this is the reason why I would love to talk about fear. All right, fear, because I see that so much in my client research, in my clients, the fear of showing up. All right, the fear of being seen, the fear of being heard, you know, or even what fear of survival, right? Fear of what if this, what if that, and must always play small. I must always be safe. But guess what? The biggest gift 
is always on the other end, right? When you overcome your fear, that's when your big you receive your biggest gift. Your biggest transformation always lies where your biggest fear is. And this was what when all of us we experienced in synergy. Once again, I give so much tribute to my husband because I <laughs> I was so deeply touched by his support. Um because again, the previous time when we traveled was when, oh my gosh, my baby was in my tummy. It was so easy. I was potting him around. But this time around, it was, yeah, like what if he doesn't like the food, but it can't be. <laughs> Eventually, but at one point, he actually, we actually went to the chemist to get some medicine, but all is well. And you know, what if... I, I can't even remember about so many what is, but I knew I had some of them. So the one again it is about what happens when you overcome your fear. All right. Is your desire big enough for you to overcome your fear? Thy desire x fear. That's it. Simple, right? Simple formula. Is your desire big enough? Do you love your future big enough for you to move past your fear, for you to see what your fear really is? Because it looks like a big scary monster, but truth to be told, it's just like a little tiny cat asking for attention, you know? And if we don't attend to it, it will keep coming back to haunt us time and time again. And this is one thing that I would really love to share with um, the audience. That, um, and I feel so called to speak about this topic, you know, overcoming fear and leading your best life. Because fear is what stops us from leading our best life. The fear of uncertainty, the fear of money not showing up, the fear of not receiving support, the fear of not being hurt, you know, the fear of being attacked if we are being seen. But hey, look on the other side, right? What if it's a chance for you to experience how money shows up for you time and time again what if it's a chance for you to experience what if um um what did i say um if for you to learn how to navigate through uncertainties and knowing that it's all in the head what if it's a chance for you to see that when i speak up when i show up I shine my light on others. When I overcome my fear of being seen, when my fear of being heard, okay, true enough, there will be people who, you know, you know, naysayers and throw eggs at me, but guess what? There will be people who are activated. There will be people who are transformed. Um, I think earlier part of this whole video, I was closing my eyes because I felt so connected. I felt so connected to sharing this message with the world. And that was what the Perth trip has enriched. It has filled my love cup to be so full. It has filled my I love my connection with my son, my connection with my husband and seeing the connection between my husband and son. It's so amazing. It's so rich. And this is why when you overcome your fear, you will lead your best life. So this is what I would love for the audience to take away. And I have a special seminar coming up. Oh, seminar, webinar, whatever. Um, Next Wednesday, I haven't rolled out the details, but the topic is about overcoming fear so that you can lead your best life, okay? We all want to lead our best life, but is our desire, do we love our future enough? Do we love the, the fact that we have unlimited potential, unlimited abundance, you know, a rich money, rich experience that I can do this time and time again? I'm not limited. Do I love the world of unlimited potential to the point where I will overcome my fear? That's my question for you. All right, see you.